Okay, so we're back with part two. And in the last part, we just set up this dragon character so he could run around. Um, now, in the next... Oh, sorry, in the next... In this um, video, we're going to do pretty much the same thing, uh, setting up a blend sp space again. But instead of it being a walking blend space, this time it's going to be a flying blend space. So let's just go ahead and set that up. So right-click an empty space inside your dragon animation folder. And then go to the animations, and we want a new blend space. And we're going to set it for the Desert Dragon Skeleton. And I'm going to call this Flying. I'm going to call it Dragon. I can't type. Dragon underscore Flying underscore BS. And then just so all my naming conventions make sense, I'm going to rename this one to Dragon underscore walk underscore oops is that there? where's the rest of it gone so just so just walk and then that should be it yes okay so open this up and then we just need to do the same thing oh i've created a i've done this wrong okay so i whoops let's just minimize that i want to get rid of this uh this one so i'm just going to right click and delete force the delete now unreal doesn't like deleting uh, as a rule when um when you put something unreal it creates a reference for it and um when you come to uh, cook your project later on if all them references aren't there uh, and it can't get access to it it'll cause problems uh so there is a way of going through and removing references though um, but as a rule, you don't want to do a lot of deleting. It'll cause you problems, especially if you've done a lot of work on a blueprint and you've attached a lot of stuff to it, and then you get rid of it because everything has been referenced to that. So that will cause you problems. So, but we haven't done anything with that yet, so it should have been, it, it was fine. So um, we do go for the same thing. So animation, but this time just do the blend space one D, and it's for the desert dragon, and we're going to call it dragon underscore flying. Underscore BS. All right. So this is not. We're going to have an animation that transitions between the walking and the flying. So uh, we should have an animation where he sort of leaps into the air. But this is for when he's in the air. Okay. So we'll deal with the transition later. But we're just going to think of the flying state. So he'll need an idle flying animation, which he doesn't seem to have. So let's just. Let's see, dragon flying, bl okay, <laughs> that's what I've made. So let's see what we've got. Fly, here we have a fly. So let's, okay, so this looks to be the actual animation. Yeah, so that can be my flying idol, okay? That, that'll seem to work for that. Um, fly get hit, fly get hit and falling. Fly stationary. Let's have a look at that. What's that? Right. Okay. Actually, I think we want that. All right. So let's let's do reverse that. So let's get rid of this. So flying stationary is going to be my default pose. All right. So when you just hit, um, you know, fly button, whatever that's going to be, uh, let's say it's E, you hit the E key and then you'll rise up into the air and then you will have this animation playing. And then when you press forward, you will blend into the fly like that, and it'll transition into that flying animation. Let's see what else we've got. Get hit, fly stationary, get hit. Spit fireball, yep, yeah, we're going to have some of that later. Glide. So when he's going really fast, you could glide like that. That's cool. Okay, so let's go set this up. So... Uh, name, speed, same as before. Uh, minimum is zero. Now I'm going to put this up. Right now it's set to, well, let's go and have a look. So the Dragon BP. Now if we go to character movement and come to where it says walking, we'll see the max is 600. But we want flying. So there should be a, fl yeah, here we go. So the max fly speed at the moment is 600. But I'm going to set that a little higher, maybe to 800. 
All right, we'll leave that like that and then come back to here and then we'll set that up. So the maximum is 800. And the grid divisions will go for six and the interpolation, just for standard, I use 0 0.2, but you can go and play around with that. So if he's not moving in the air, he's doing that. If he's traveling anywhere between uh, 0 and 300 or... Let's, let's, Put that at 400. We'll just set the speed of each one. And then he glides for a bit, and then he'll come back down. We might have that glide not be affected by the speed. We might just play that randomly. Uh, so it, 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 you know, it mixes up the animations. But for now, we'll leave it at that when he's going top speed. Um, yeah, but again, it's something we'll probably have to come and play around with. Right, so let's go get that set up in the uh, animation blueprint. So let's uh, drag an anim BP. Let's go to the... Um, no, we're going to go to the locomotion and then here. Okay, so this is where we're going to do it. Now, before... Yeah, we're going to have to set up the transitional state first. So this is where we do have to go and look at the animations because we need to know what animation is where he sort of lifts himself up. So dragonfly stationary, fly, does it fly stationary to, hmm, what's this one? Let's have a look. That's a land. Okay, so that's landing. So that's good to know. So it must be around there somewhere. Um, yeah, so again, this is... I know this must be a little bit boring for you watching me just w go through these animations, but this is... When you get an animation pack, this is... Tends to be what you have to do. Okay, so no, that's not the right one. That's landing again. That's breathing fire, I think, that one. I know that's firing, that's doing a fireball. That's doing a dive or taking a hit. <coughs> Supply stationary. Dragonfly, dragon falling, dragon core attack. Hmm. Well, which one is it then for him to... Right, I'm just going to pause the video and then find it and then I'll be back. Okay, so I found it and it was just called Dragon Takeoff. All right, so that's pretty uh, good naming conventions. I should have just read them all. And what we have here is him taking off. But what we'll have there is uh, we'll apply a launch character. So we'll launch him in the air and turn on the flying mode when that happens. So what we need to do is we need to create... A key binding. So let's go to the settings, project settings, and then go to the input on the left here. Create a new action mapping by hitting this plus button. And we this is going to be called, what should it be called? Um, transition to flying. Okay. And like we said before, we'll put that onto E for now on the keyboard keyboard e okay so when we press e we'll play that animation and it'll transition into the flying state okay so let's open up our character go to the event graph come under here and type transition flying so that's the um axis event that we just created so when we press that but we also want to create a variable so we'll call this flying transition to flying when that when we press this button we're going to set that to be true okay and just for now, we're just going to set up the animations. Later on, we'll set up all the different uh, movement modes and all that sort of stuff, but we'll do it a step at a time. So when we press that, we transition to flying mode. Now let's go back to our uh, animation blueprint. 
go back to our event graph. And before we do that, though, let's go back to our Dragon BP and just hit compile. Because if we don't compile, we won't be able to get access to this. So go to the Dragon uh, Anim BP, drag out from as Dragon BP, and type get transition. And I can't be bothered to type it. If you can't find your variable, just come to the bottom and you'll always find it near the bottom. And then we're going to call that. Uh, well, sorry, we're not going to call it anything. We're going to promote it to a variable and call that trans flying. So I can't call it. And it just means transition to flying. <clears throat> okay. Now we need to go to the actual uh, locomotion state. And we need to create one of these states for it. So okay, we always want to go from idle walk run to the transition to flying. And the animation we want from that was called, oh, this is where I'm not going to be able to find it again. It's called takeoff. So if I just, there we go. And drag that in and plug that into there. Okay. And then hit compile. And then we've got errors because we haven't done our uh, transitional rule. So we want to be able to go back. Oh, no. No, so we want then to be a, so let's drag out from that, create a new state, and we'll call this state flying. And then we'll open up that, and then we'll put in the blend space, the flying blend space that we created. So flying. And we've already got that speed variable that we've created, so we can just plug that directly into there. We don't have to go in and create that again. Uh... And then we just want to go back to our graph. So right now, we can't transition back to the ground. But we'll do that in another video. We'll just get this one sorted. So we start out in this idle walk run. We press E to transition into the flying mode. And then once we're in flying mode, we we set flying. So we need to go do that. So go to the third, not third person character. Go to the Dragon BP. So what we want to do here, we want a delay. And that delay wants to be the length of this takeoff animation, which is 1.8. So I'm going to set that to 1.7 because I always like to have it a little less than the actual length of the animation. Um, <clears throat> that seems to work best for me. So 1.7. Then we're going to set transition to flying to be false. But then we're going to create a new variable called flying. And then we're going to set that to be true oops set true plug that in plug that in and then of course we go back to our anim bp go to the event graph and we want to grab that variable we created here again i didn't compile so make sure you do that drag out and we want the flying variable get flying okay then we want to drag out promote that to a variable and call it fly. Plug that in. File. Uh, we've got a transitional rule error. So, because we haven't set one up, probably. So, this one. And that's why we were grabbing those. So, fly, get, drag out, equal Boolean. If that is true, then we can enter transition. But just to make that totally, um, because we'll have two variables running at once here. And what we want to do, just to make sure it's going to work, drag out trans flying or transition to flying, get, and we'll copy that CV. So if that one is false, if transition to flying is false, but flying is true, then we'll do the, um, get an and boolean, then we'll do the transition. Because we're doing that here, aren't we? We're setting this to be false and this to be true, so we know that's that should that should definitely uh, trigger our animation sequence. And then go back, and then we just have to do this last one, which is the transition between the add or walk run and the transition to flying. And then we just need to put in our transition to flying get, and this is equal be true. Hit compile. And then, so let's give that a try. So we walk around, we press E, 
transitions to flying, and then we are in our fly flying mode. All right. That looks great. Super happy with that. Um, and if we stop flying, he uh, goes into his hover. All right, cool. So let's see um, what we got. All right, we'll leave that video there. In the next video, we'll start adding the actual getting him launching into the sky and then changing the mo uh, movement mode to flying because that actually does give you a different kind of controls. So we'll look into that, see if anything messes up and see if it works in the way that we want it to. If not, we'll play around with it and get it, and get it to work how we want. All right, I'll catch up with you in the next part.